We're up here in Ozark. We're gonna pull some honey, early honey harvest this year. I've got John with me over here. One of my viewers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, John's one of my viewers and he wanted to come out. He lives really close to here actually. There's Justin, everybody knows Justin if you've seen my other videos. Yeah. So we're just gonna pull some honey and get some extracted. And we've already been up to the farm and I've pulled a little bit from my house and we've got just a few boxes, but we're gonna keep going here. Well, here's a lid we just pulled off of this hive right here. So double deep with two uh, mediums on top. Justin, why don't we pull up a frame or two and just look and see what the, how they look here. These are real busy up here. See, that's pretty good. Oh, nice. now, let's flip the other side, see what we got. So really not totally cat. Let's try the next one towards the middle, Justin. Looks good on this side. Yeah, that one's gonna be pretty good to go probably. Yeah, that oh, one's gonna go for sure. So let's go ahead and just, we're gonna put a fume board on here, run the bees out, and then we'll be able to manage it a little bit better. Honey be gone right there. I don't get the yeah, I don't want to have that in your face, do you, John? <laughs> we'll put it on there. I'm just gonna let it sit on here for a few minutes and let the bees kind of run out of there. So we'll go on and check the next one over there while the bees are running down here. The next box here has four supers. The top box looks like it's probably not capped yet, is it, not Justin? Ready, no. So let's pull that box off and set it down somewhere. It's probably gonna be heavy. Oh. Let's see what this one's looking like. Good in here, this side. Yeah, I'm guessing this one's gonna need to be taken or at least a bunch of it is. Maybe a whole Box. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Yep. So we're gonna put a fume board on here and let it start going down in here. All right, now we come back to this one and you can see the fume board's been on here probably probably five to 10 minutes while we've gone down and checked on some of those others. And the bees are out of there, which is what we want. So now we're gonna go through each frame individually and check it. I don't wanna take them unless they're probably at least 80, 90% capped. And that one looks good, let's take it. Let John grab one over here and check it. Yeah, I think this whole box is going, don't y'all think? Look nice at that, man. Look, look how beautiful that is. Wow. There you go, Justin. Yeah, we could almost just pull the whole box I, off, probably. It looks like the whole box. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's put the frames back yeah. in there. Let's take the whole yeah. box. There's no that reason to take good. them out. Awesome. That's cool. That's going to be a beautiful box of honey right there. Okay, so Justin just took the top box off of this next one. It was totally full. And now we're going to put the fume board back on this one. Obviously, there's some in here that are going to go as well. So let's just put the fume board back on here. Run whatever bees are in here out, and then we'll just keep going down the line. Let's see what this one looks like. See, we got bees gone. I don't know that we're gonna take all these frames. So this is something we may just put in some boxes here and kind of mix and match a little. So those outside frames may not be capped, are they? Nope. All uh, right, yeah. yeah I don't think those way. are capped. Let's go kind of towards the middle yeah. a little bit. This next one. That one's ready to go for sure. Did we have the fume board on there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just bump them in front of the hive, Justin. Just take them, bump them on the corner. How about that? There you go. Stick them in there. So these are just going to take the ones that are capped and ready to go. And we'll fill these other slots in this box that's still on the hive with some that are probably not ready from other places. I just like to take full Whoa. boxes. I hate this to have. Heavy. So I must look yeah, good that on that beautiful. side. Oh, look at how pretty that is, man. Yeah. That's awesome. There's Lisa. Me and my pretty self. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ready to go. She's got her whole kit with her. She's uh, ready. Yeah, I didn't know what I needed, so I brought everything. Yeah, that's good. Lisa lives right here in Ozark, not far from here, right? Mm -hmm. Just... Yeah, I'm about two or three miles from here. Yeah, yeah. and then Ozark's Dugan's probably miles, three or four miles right the other direction. Uh, so far up here in Ozark, after doing the backyard, Newton, okay, no, no, at the farm in Ozark, we've got a total of 11 boxes here, yeah. and there's an app in May in here. Right down here, this apple may box is also full. So we've got 12 so far. Uh, what y'all think? It's full. <laughs> Lots of bees out here, huh? A lot. Where is the pollination bees? Came from California, the California bees. So the almond honey is not good, huh? No, but the almond honey is all at the bottom. This yeah, is all. This local is honey. all other stuff. So we're trying to get a little system worked out here. We've got fume boards on them. There's Justin over there. You can see how packed out this, this hive right here was. Stick on the lid right there. Of course, the bees are all running back home. <laughs> it's pretty impressive out here. <laughs> Lots of bees. Gonna get a fair amount of honey out here, I think. All right, so right now we got 
23 in here, one in the truck, that's 24 supers. Didn't have as many honey off these uh, pollination bees as I thought. There are quite a few that are basically full of honey, but uncapped. So I think in our next harvest, about four to six weeks, maybe we'll get a fair amount more. It's been raining a little bit off and on. We've had to take a break or two. You know, we're not moving super fast, but we'll see what we end up with. Uh, just take what we can. John, what'd you think, man? Good experience. Good deal. You learned a little something or? I, I did. All right, good deal. Yeah. Lisa, what'd you think? Awesome. You get stung? Oh, I got stung, what, four or five times? <laughs> yeah, they're getting a little antsy now because it's rainy and nasty. And... I had one attempt to sting me. Yeah. Uh, I had zero sting. Oh, you better not, you better quit, quit bragging or before you get yeah, out of here, they'll be stinging you. I, I, I figured within a couple of minutes, I should get stung. Me with arthritis, good day. <laughs> All right, we're going to go get a little bit more done. Okay. Here we are in Midland City. Don't know that we're gonna have a lot of honey out here because these are fairly new splits. These are the queens with the California beekeeper, Jose. There's queens in there, so they're building up nicely. And uh, we're just gonna see what we have. If we can pull some out here, we will. If not, then oh well. Oh, right, we're down here in Slocum. Got one more place to pull. Hopefully we get a few boxes here. Been a little disappointed today. This is all we've gotten so far. I think the privet has been mediocre at best. We only got one box out of in Midland City where the new splits were, but that's not entirely unexpected. Those are brand new splits. They haven't had a lot of time to get rolling yet. They're bringing a fair amount of nectar in and stuff. But they just haven't capped much of it yet. So I guess we'll go through these last few colonies, see what we got. Then we're going to haul these uh, boxes over to the honey house over at Rusty's place and uh, get them unloaded and ready for tomorrow. And here we are at Rusty's place. There's Rusty over there. And we got our boxes here. We didn't get near as much as I thought. We got three here at Honey Hill Farm and then the rest of these. 28, so it's gonna be quick getting adjusted. We'll get this knocked out fast tomorrow. Yeah. Probably be done by lunch, extracting this and get the boxes back on the hive, so. Next morning, we're extracting the honey. There's Justin, he got popped just too late. Here's Ed, one of the YouTube viewers. Tell me your, what do you go by? What's your YouTube name? Son of One. Son of One. So if you ever see him comment on the videos, that's who that is. His wife, Chris, back there, my wife, Annette. Christy, in the background. So what we're doing, we're just using Simple Harmony Farms on Capper. We're just uh, lining the frames up. This is Rusty's license extractor, 30 frame. It's a great machine. We've got some going over here on mine too. It's going right now. This is Max at 20 frame. Been using it for a few years. It's been a game changer as well. Letting it drain out into this strainer here into a five gallon paint filter into the five gallon bucket. Who's that, Christy? Say good morning. Good morning. boxes we've extracted we ended up with a fair little harvest starting to clean up in here so here's what we got we're ending up with about 20 buckets that's pretty cool the leaves of the last summer wasn't rusty yeah but we still got that one to go yeah we got that one to go but this is a little warm up and ed and chris over here they got some experience with it did y'all enjoy this yeah i did <laughs> chris what you think is it fun pretty cool okay, learned a little bit yeah, all right, good stuff. Anyway, my wife and Ed, she had to take off and go do something, so. So we're just gonna clean up and then go try to get the supers back on the hives. Gonna start off here in Slickman and work around all the different yards where we pulled honey. 
Here's our buckets of honey in the truck here. These two right here for Honey Hill Farm. We'll drop those off when we go there. The rest of them go in storage and we'll use them as we need them. Right here in Midland City to put some frames back in these. We didn't get hardly any honey off these. We got a, just a few frames out of them, but man, they're busy. I wish I could really capture what they're doing out here. There is something happening. They are just flying like a, just all over the place out here. So they're very, very busy. Maybe that tallow flow is beginning to kick in. As in most of our spots, there was some honey in these hives, but a lot of it wasn't capped. And you remember these hives are just over a month old. And so they've done quite well considering the short time that they have, have even existed. Ooh, these bees are busy. I wish I could really capture the sound of them buzzing around here. It was pretty impressive. Just gonna put the boxes on here and then unload that honey and we'll be done for the day. <laughs> right, there it comes, last bucket put in here in storage. Feels like work, doesn't it, Justin? Yeah. This is our little storage room where I store the honey. Last year we had two rows, four high all the way back. I think we had about six or seven buckets stored in here. We had a total of 100 plus buckets last year that we ended up having. So this is the first of this year. I guess we got 17 buckets right there, don't we, Justin? Yep. So not a bad little pull for the first time. Ooh, we're ready to be done with this, aren't we, Justin? Look at that eye. Yeah. LB got him. This is about starting. You can actually see his eyeball now, so that's pretty cool. But that's it for now. We're gonna call it a day, call it a video. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.